All right, so one of the questions I got in the SEO boardroom recently was about how to use Neuron Writer. And I was like, why don't I just share this training for free with everyone on YouTube as well? So I'm going to show you exactly how to use Neuron Writer to rank your content. Additionally, on top of that, I'm going to show you how to do the keyword research before you even create the content so you can save a lot of time along the way. And essentially, I would say this is one of the fastest and easiest and cheapest ways to create and rank content. I'll come on to that in a second, because if you're not familiar with Neuron Writer, you can get it for like $89 on AppSumo. And if you don't like it, I think there's a refund guarantee as well. And then with ClickSo, it's a pretty affordable tool, kind of like a Uber Suggest alternative. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use that for keyword research. So we're going to do the keyword research first, then we're going to create the content and I'll show you everything step by step. Plus, I'm going to plug it into an SAP for you so that you or your team could use it for free. All right, so let's get straight into it. So the first place I would start, right? is let's say I'm in the SEO niche and I'm trying to find SEO related keywords. I can use a tool like ClickSo, links inside the comments description. You can save 15% with the code Goldie, G-O-L-D-I-E. Uh, so what you can do is you can type in search engine optimization inside the keyword section right here. If you scroll down, obviously everything is like stupidly hard. No point going for it. So what you can do is if you go to see all over here, wait for that to load. And then you can see this section right here, which is difficulty. So we can just go for stuff that's like really easy difficulty, right? So for example, Airbnb search engine optimization, very easy keyword to go for. Even in a very saturated niche like SEO, that's going to be one of the best ways to do it. And you can see how quick and easy it is to find keywords and start ranking for them, right? And then each of these keywords, you just want to check the search intent, make sure it's going to generate income if you create content around it. And additionally as well, you want to make sure that when you're creating this content, if you check who's already ranking for it, so we can click on the keyword and then open it in a new tab like you can see, wait for that keyword data to load and just wait for the search data to load right here. Now, one of the good signs of this is that it's got a high CPC, so it's $10 per click. That's pretty high to be honest with you. And if people are bidding for that keyword, that's a money-making keyword right there, right? Now, if we scroll to the first page of Google, what you can see right here is DP. And what this stands for is domain power. And so you can see, for example, there's some low authority websites ranking already. So there's a DP 11 right there, 26, 18, 27, etc. These are all websites that you could realistically compete with. And the lower the DP, the better. And so if you check the CPC of a keyword and then also check the domain power and filter down to keywords around your topic, you can easily find a lot of keywords at scale without doing much work. And literally that took me about two minutes to find. And then I've got a bunch of keywords right here that I can also test. And also just make sure these don't cannibalize with each other, right? So for example, if you see something like how to optimize search engine optimization, and then how can I improve search engine optimization, basically the same keyword. If we go onto Google and we copy that, and then we copy this as well. And so if you check both keywords on Google, for example, like how can I improve search engine optimization and how to optimize search engine optimization, you can see the inside the organic listings right here, the top ranking article on both pages is Google for developers, right? So it's basically targeting the same keyword, same search intent. You don't need to create multiple articles for that same keyword. Now I'll come on to the content creation in a second, but it's basically how you can do the keyword research, filter for cannibalization, find money-making keywords, find keywords you can realistically rank for, and it works for pretty much any single niche. So once you've done that, then we can start using Neuron Writer and I'll quickly show you how to do that too. So Usually what I do, right, this mainly for content outlines. Now, I don't use it as much as I used to, usually because a lot of these AI tools generate the content outline themselves, right? So, for example, if you're using like Autoblogging AI, it's already going to generate the content outline directly inside godlike mode. But if we go into an example website, like, for example, Chipper Birds, directly on Neuron Writer, I think one of the best ways to do this is to just generate a content outline directly inside Neuron Writer. And then if you're using human written content, that's probably the best way to, to use this tool. Like I say, if you're using AI tools, then for example, like Autoblogging AI or these other AI tools are going to generate the content outline for you directly anyway. But let's say, for example, I don't know, you're looking for SEO expert, New York, like that's the keyword that you want to create the content around. So inside here, once we've created a, a new project and then set up new query, we're going to go to SEO expert, New York, change the country, set up the language, hit start. And from here, we have to wait for it to load. You can see the analysis of progress right here. So we'll just wait for that to load. It might take like a couple of minutes or so. 
And here we go. So now that the analysis is completed, that took about a couple of minutes, I would say. So now we're going to select the competitors that we want to create the content outline around. And of course, you're just going to pick the most relevant ones, right? So for example, if we look at this list and let's see who we've got here. I don't think this Upwork page is going to be very relevant because that's not like a proper article. Let's see what else we got. Clutch as well, I'm probably not going to use because that's just going to be like an auto-generated article if we check it out. It's kind of like a pro programmatic SEO style thing. And the same with SEMrush. I bet that's going to be pretty basic as well. Yes, it's kind of like a programmatic SEO type page. So we'll go with those for a minute. And then I'm going to hit next. And what you see here is it, it figures out the content score and the length and that sort of thing. So it's always good to remove the anomalies from the list. Otherwise, you're going to get data from pages that aren't actually relevant. So for example, like Clutch or SEMrush, they're really just ranking because of their authority. I wouldn't say it's because uh, the content is particularly good. So from here, it's a bit messy right now, but if we click on the left, right, like so, we can start generating titles. So we can plug that in as a H2. We'll plug this one in as well. In fact, that's probably not that relevant. We'll delete that one, SEO Jumpstart, but SEO New York pricing, that makes sense to me. You just want to go through the headings and figure out, okay, what are the most relevant ones, right? So for example, how to rank number one, Google. Not that relevant for an article specifically about New York City SEO, but this one will be a good title to use. And you can see you can choose between like H2, H3, H4, and H1, right? So most of these I'm going to pick as H2s and H3s. I usually don't go as depth, as in depth as like, you know, doing the whole H4 thing. But that's basically it. So we've got SEO New York City pricing, SEO New York City SEO. Let's see what else we've got. SEO Expert New York, that's probably the most relevant. Best local New York SEO services, that would be a good title. And then you've got different areas, right? So for example, you've got Best Long Island SEO companies, Best Bronx SEO agencies, Best Brooklyn SEO firms, Best Manhattan, etc. These are all going to be like sub keywords you can actually rank for. Actually, you probably want to change those to H3s because they're kind of like subsidies that we can rank for underneath. So we'll make those as H3s. And then that's a good H2 to add as well. Just keep scrolling down. A lot of those headings are not that relevant. You gotta use a bit of common sense here. That's the thing with these tools. A lot of people complain about them because you know people don't use their common sense when they're creating the content outline, but this is basically how I do it. And there you go. Now let's have a look what else we got. We've got smart headings. So these are some unused terms. And then we got some keywords we could plug in potentially as well. So for example, we could add an FAQ section here as H2, and then we could plug in some H3s underneath, right? So if you're actually writing this for your own SEO agency, you could plug that underneath. Let's see what else we've got. Yeah, that's a H3, best companies, H3, etc., And that could be a H3. Just insert some relevant FAQs. Now, you can actually write the content directly inside Neuron Writer. Last time I checked, it wasn't that good. So you can generate the content with AI, but it wasn't that impressive when I used it before. But what you can see, without actually creating any content, without even writing an intro, etc., you can see that the score, the SEO content score is 16, right? So we want to keep increasing that. You can see that the average of our competitors is 63. So that's the highest of all our selected competitors. Actually, the average is 56. So we want to increase our content score to at least 56, maybe even higher to like, for example, 63 as one of our top competitors is. How do you do that? Well, when you're writing the content, you try and include these terms. So for example, in the title right here, we could say best SEO services in New York, NYC SEO. And then you could put something like who's the best New York SEO company. Right. And by doing that, you've got SEO services, NYC, New York SEO company, etc. And then you can put some keywords into the description as well. But you can see how it would look on Google now. Sometimes this is going to get cut off, but you can see that we've basically included some of the main search terms inside the heading. Bear in mind, like you got to write for the user, but also you got to write for the algorithm. If you don't write for both, you won't rank. If you if you don't write for the user, the content won't convert. If you don't write for the algorithm, then it's not going to rank. So we've inserted some H2s here, and then you just go off and write the content. How do you write the content? Well, you want to think about the, the reader and the user of the content, but you also want to make sure you include 
and sprinkle in some of these terms naturally. So if you look at terms in article section over here, we've got the list of keywords that you would include in the article naturally as you write it. And then the more of these you include, the more your content score is going to go up. I won't worry about hitting like 100 or 90. As I said, you got to use a bit of common sense. If your highest competitor is at 63, that's probably what you should aim for. And bear in mind as well, like when you're writing that content, if you over optimize on the keywords you use, then it's not going to feel very natural to the person reading it. And then terms in headings, these are like some of the H1 terms and H2 and H3 heading terms that recommends for creating the content. So that's basically it. That's how I use Noam Writer to create the content. You can also share this with other people. I think there's a management section right here where you can share stuff and you can manage all your content, etc. But that's the 80-20 of it, like for, for writing content, creating content using Noam Writer. So thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done is plug this into an SP, as you can see right here. So it comes with step-by-step -step instructions for each stage of the process for using Neuron Writer and ClickSo. And if you want to get free access to that, that is directly, I'll put that directly inside my free ChatGPT SEO course right here. And we'll plug that into the SEO system section. It's called ClickSo and Neuron Writer Workflow. And you can see the SAP right down there if you want to get free access to it. Link to the free course is inside the comments and description. And by the way, this free course is absolutely insane. Like the amount of value you get in there is just crazy. Like if you want to train up one of your team members, or if you just want to learn more about, say, link building, there's a link building section right here, keyword research, etc. And that is direct. that is completely free. If you want to join the SEO boardroom, like I say, I've been creating custom videos for the community, helping them out as much as I can. You get loads of other stuff in there, for example, like an online course, content, free AI SEO tools. You don't even need GPT-4 for that. It comes with weekly events and discounts, plus my personal SEO toolbox and daily experiments that I post on the community. If you want to get access to that, we've only got nine spots remaining at the current price. Feel free to check that out. Links in the comments the description. And if you want to book in a free SEO strategy session about how to get more leads, traffic and sales, Using SEO and link building, feel free to book in. You get free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, or answer any questions you have, and you discover the best link building strategy, custom tailored to your website directly on the call. We can just show you loads of ways to get more traffic and improve your rankings. Feel free to book that in. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. Bye-bye.